Good morning. Thank you for joining me for today's Facebook Live. My name is Tracy Held. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Melbourne in Australia. And today I'm going to kick off something new. If you've been following my blog, you'll see that I've been doing a lot of posts in the last couple of weeks about a card swap chain that I participated in. And I've had lots of people coming back to me saying I really love this idea and it's been such fun following and everybody's just so enthusiastic about it. So I decided let's try a Facebook one, which I know is going to be different because you're all going to be casing the same card. So it's not going to have that kind of Chinese whispers, as we call it in Australia, or broken telephone effect that we have as we call it in South Africa rather, sorry. Um, it's going to be a little bit different because you're all casing the same card, but I think it'll still be fun. So if you haven't seen those posts, go and have a look on my blog, traceofcreativity.com. And we've actually got blog hops where you, you have a link to the first card and you can then click through the blogs to see how the card changed. And in some cases, you wouldn't recognize, most cases actually, you wouldn't recognize the first card and the last card as having come from the same card. But it's interesting to see everybody else's creativity and, and how they change things as they go along. So let me show you the card that I'm going to be giving you to Case. And then I'll explain to you my thoughts on how we're going to work this. Okay, so this is the card. I'm going to show you. I'm going to make a different one today. So it's not going to be this card. So you've already now got two cards that you can case to work off. And I'm almost finished writing up a tutorial. So as soon as I've got that done, I'll actually upload that tutorial. But if you like a written tutorial rather than watching a video, um, you'll have that available as well. And then what I'm going to ask is if you make the card, I'll start a separate post, couldn't think of the word there, and I'll ask you to upload a copy of your card so that we can all just get different inspiration and see how everybody uses the same idea differently. Now, for my card today, I'm not going to be using any of these products. So obviously this one I was working with the, the Simply Zinnia Suite. So that was the, I think it's called Flowering Zinnia DSP, the Simpler Zinnia Bundle. And if you can see, I've actually got a cutout here. I use the countryside corners. Now, for today's card, we're going to be using the Latte Love Bundle. And I've used the Everyday Details dies. And... I'm actually using a new embossing folder because we have to have news. New stuff, as soon as you've got new stuff, you have to use it, can't resist. And I think that this is called the Swirly Embossing Folder. I looked it up before I came and now I've forgotten the name. Right, so let's get started. I'm going to start with my cutouts actually, um, just because I want to add a bit of colouring. So. I've stamped and cut my cups and I just want to add a little bit of colouring to them. So I've got my Petal Pink ink pad and we're taking my uh, water pencil and my coffee yet because I don't want to get that wet and smudge that while I'm colouring my cup because I'm going around the edge here and we want a little bit I want the inside of my mug to be slightly colored as well okay and I'm going to do the same coloring with my crumb cake and I guess I could have shown you um, the DSP that I'm using but I didn't so You'll see as soon as we get to the DSP why I'm using these colours. 
Now, again, it's whatever you like. You could colour your mug lighter or darker or whatever. Or, you know, when you're doing your card, don't use the mugs. Do use anything else that you want. Obviously, if you love my card and you want to do it exactly the same, well, there's no reason that you can't. But I'm interested to see what other ideas everybody else comes up with too. All right, so there's my mugs, very nice and lightly colored. And now I'm just gonna stamp my coffee inside the mugs. This time I'm using pecan pie. I didn't want, because my mugs are pale, I didn't want to go early espresso, which is pretty dark. Um, There we go, what more could you ask for? Perfect cup of coffee to start the day. Right. And I've also done a spoon. Has anybody used the set? Do you have the same problem as me that that's a left-handed spoon? I seriously battle to place that spoon because it's going the wrong way. Okay, now let's get on to our card. So I've got my card base. I've got my piece that I embossed and I don't know if you can see there, see that swirly embossing, it's lovely and the thing with this one, it doesn't really matter which side you use it on, it's pretty much the same. Alright, now I've got my piece of DSP and the DSP is from that, that Latte Love um, suite, so I've kept all my stamps and everything in that suite and we're going to just stick that onto our, our mat and roughly in the middle it doesn't have to be 100% and we're going to stick that onto our card. Now I can't say that I actually came up with the, the card if you, if you want to call it sketch layout, it has been around for a while, but it's one of the ones that I keep going back to because I absolutely love this design. Okay, now what I've done here, and I've done it in advance just because it wasn't going to work for me on camera, but I've taken my designer series paper, which is the same width as that, and I, like I said, I'll do that tutorial and put it up if you've got all those measurements. And then I've stuck it onto a piece of cardstock and then cut out my dies because I was using the everyday details dies. So I wanted those holes to come through. I needed the paper on before I did my, I cut it out. But you can use whatever shape you like. If you don't want to use a die, don't use a die. You can just use a rectangle. I haven't tried it with a circle, but it may work with a circle. If somebody wants to try that, go for it. And like I said, here I used the countryside corner, so whatever you like. And then decisions, decisions. Okay, I think that before I stick this on, I'm going to just put my cups onto it first. And great going because I made sure to cut it out with so that the DSP had the holes on it. And as soon as I put my cups on, I'm actually going to cover up the holes in the DSP. Okay, sometimes you just have to laugh at yourself. All right, so <coughs> let's stick some cups on. And now I'm going to use some dimensionals. That should be enough. It's always a question of how many dimensionals are enough dimensionals. And we want to line this up so that 
my DSP is lined up with the DSP that's on the card, so top and bottom. I don't think that looks okay. There we go. And then I have stamped a sentiment. Which I don't know where I'm going to put. Um, I could put it there, but then am I hiding too much of the cups? Okay, maybe we'll put it across the across the cups. My left-handed spoon can go at the bottom. And you can see this is one of those where I haven't actually made the card in advance. So I don't have anywhere to see where I'm putting things. I'm just thinking about it as I go along. And then for my insert, I'm going to do what I'm now thinking of as my trademark insert. Just want to check that that's the right size. And again, if you like this, use it. If you don't want to use it, you can do whatever you like on the inside. But I'm sticking a strip of that same designer series paper. And I've got a very narrow strip of um, petal pink. inside and of course we have to have some bling so sticking with the sweet we've got these adhesive backed swirl dots and decisions decisions which color I think I'm going to use might as well just put one there one there and one at the top over here okay so there we go two of the same style cards and you can see because of the colors and what I've used they look quite different so like I said I am going to create another post where I'll ask you to put your cards in the comments if you make the card or you download the tutorial please go and upload your case of the card and let's just see everybody's creativity and um we'll all get different ideas from what everybody does so please join me with that i think we'll run it for a month and then in may i'll come up with a different design and we can try a different one hope you have fun with this and i will see you again next week have a good week until then Bye.